Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking, what can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clogged line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just to click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. It's the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition. This is for Monday, the 28th of October. I'm James Spann. Things are quiet today, but rain will return to parts of the state tomorrow and a statewide soaking likely by Wednesday and Thursday. Let's take a look. Big upper trough in the western states. It is cold and snowy there. It's going to be a very cold week for the west. Cool this morning. We've got 40s and low 50s on the board. In fact, look at Muscle Shoals. They've got 60s. So numbers really... All over the board, Birmingham at 48, Anniston 46. And, of course, the cloud variability is the reason for the big range in temperatures. We note a dense fog advisory for parts of east and northeast Alabama. That will dissipate by mid-morning. And out west, a number of winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings as they look more and more like winter. No severe weather expected around the country today. Maybe some thunder for the Gulf Coast. Tomorrow, a marginal risk over parts of south Texas. And on day three, Wednesday, a marginal risk from South Texas up to parts of southern Indiana, western Kentucky. That clips the northwestern corner of the state. Rain for the next seven days. More big numbers for the east and southeast. In Alabama, rain amounts for the northern half of the state between two and three and a half inches between now and early Monday morning of next week. So more beneficial rain. Tropics, of course, the Gulf of Mexico quiet, this side of the Atlantic quiet. We've got some action up in the North Atlantic, one kind of a mid-latitude system with a 10% chance of developing tropical characteristics. And Pablo, this thing has been lurking about up there in the North Atlantic as a hurricane this weekend, but it's rapidly dissipating this morning. All right, model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 06E run, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Western trough, ridge down over Florida. And for us, we'll call it partly sunny with a high in the 70s today. Pretty quiet. Now, tomorrow, moisture begins to return. Clouds will likely increase. We'll have a chance of rain over the southern part of the state. This is the high-res NAM at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, suggesting rain south of a line from Demopolis to Clanton to Roanoke. The northern half of the state will likely be dry, but again, clouds will likely increase. Highs in the 70s. Wednesday... Looks pretty wet. Rain likely at times will be in the 70s. And look at the snow developing on the northern flank of all of this through parts of Kansas, Iowa, Missouri, up towards Chicago. A very cold air settling into the Rockies. This is uh, Wednesday morning at 7, suggesting we'll have showers maybe early in the day here. Let's go to Thursday. It's Halloween. Got a surface low that's near Detroit with a trailing front down toward uh, Memphis and uh, again, look at the snow falling from Milwaukee down toward Chicago. How about some pre-Thanksgiving snow there? And again, the question is, when does it rain? Uh, the GFS is suggesting it might be over by Thursday night, so the trick-or-treaters can go do their thing without rain. But uh, the European solution is slower. And we'll you know fine-tune the forecast as we get closer. But clearly, more beneficial rain for the state Uh for the next few days. And then Friday, we're cool and dry. Friday morning, we're going to be uh, way down in the 30s. In fact, uh, many spots could see their first freeze of the season or frost for sure. These are the anomalies on Friday. Very cold for much of the country. Saturday, same thing. We'll start the day in the 30s. The high will be around 60. And Sunday, we're dry. 30s early in the day, highs in the low 60s. Monday of next week, a week from today, the 4th of November, zonal flow, dry air mass. Let's go out 10 days, Wednesday of next week, the 6th. Again, a zonal flow, and we're still dry. Rain off the European Ensemble. The mean for Birmingham, about 3.5 inches. And again, you can see that drop in temperature Friday, Saturday, Sunday, with 50s and 30s showing up here on the uh, European Ensemble output. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. 
Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call plumbing experts today.